So I'd like to show you some ways to add color to your landscape design plans. Hopefully at this point you have two landscape designs worked out, two different um, design solutions, and are ready to add the finishing touches to add some color and make your drawing pop. This will be something that you can use to print directly to a color plotter and that's in the form of a PDF drawing. What I want you to remember is to be sure to use your first nine colors as blacks. So there'll be varying degrees of line weights of black. I usually start with red as the lightest, progressing all the way to magenta as the heaviest line weight, and then using gray, the last two grays, eight and nine, as a um, lighter and then a darker and thicker version of gray. All of the other colors should be plotted as their intended color that you see on the screen. So there's a couple of ways to add color. Most of them are through hatching. So when you go to add hatch to a drawing for color reasons, it's helpful to have the boundary as a black and white line. So that's similar to how you would hand draw and hand render a plan. So what we have here is a tree and the exterior line is blue and the interior lines are blues and yellows, so thick and thin branch lines. And then I've added a hatch to this and clicking on the hatch, it's just one solid hatch and I've used a um, gradient with two different colors. So pick two different colors that you like and then give it a transparency. So the transparency is important so you can see some of the information that's going on underneath the tree. Otherwise the tree would really just block out all of the, um, all of the landscape beneath it. And you can work with different degrees of transparency. That's one option for you that works particularly well with trees and shrubs. Hatching is another way to work with colors. So we have a gravel hatch pattern here and the gravel itself had been created with a brownish tone for the hatch pattern and in addition to that the pattern has a background. So that's this dot right here, the background color. And you can add a lighter uh, background color, generally is the best way to go, with a darker, darker pattern color on top of it. Again, experiment with different ways to make that look nice. Tra um, hatch transparency is really helpful, and adjusting the scale can be really helpful as well. You can see I did that here with the flagstone and then also here with the lawn area. So we have two different colors. With the lawn area we have a green. So this green is a mistake. So that will print as black. So I need to go over to another green color for the background and the darker green for the stipple pattern on top of it. So now that we have this set, you can use the Match Properties button to select your source object and then move to any other hatch patterns that are similar and make them match. So it looks a little beigey right now and you could adjust that yourself and move, um, make them a little bit better color scheme. So those are a couple of ways that you can add um, color to your drawing. You can also use color lines, color thicknesses, uh, and then finally when you're working with photos this uh, color plotting will be really helpful because your color photos will show up really nice as well. So I hope that helps and I'm looking forward to seeing both of your new design ideas for this landscape plan.